Hey everybody, welcome to another Bill Sky, the assembly guy. This is an extra video to show you how to install the KDBG debugger on Linux. Now, most of the time, all you have to do is just type sudo sudo apt install kdbg, but in some versions of Linux like Mint, that isn't available. And let me show you what you get when you do that. I'm going to click down here on the terminal and I'm going to type sudo apt install kdbg. Actually, before that, say sudo apt update, type in your password. That's going to go out to the internet and download all of the package, libraries, catalogs. And then I'm going to say sudo apt install kdbg, and you'll get this, unable to locate package kdbg. So to install kdbg, you need to install a bunch of packages first to support it. Then you have to download the source code, then make it and install it. It's very, very simple. So let's go through that procedure right now. Okay, so now we have to go ahead and install some of the C, all of the software that KDBG relies on and then download the KDBG source code. So to do that, we have to enter in a number of install commands, packages, and I'm going to put those commands out on the description of this video, but let's walk through it. So I'm going to do super, sudo super user do apt install cmake. So we have to install cmake. Now the y, the dash y means go ahead and say yes, of course I want to do it. Then I'm going to go ahead and include the extra CMake modules, modules. And now we have to install some libraries. So what I'm going to do is install the lib f5 activities and the dev libraries. Now I'll go ahead and put all of these as I said earlier. I'll put all of these in the description of the video. Now, what is this installing? Well, KDBG may use different GUI libraries, different libraries used for debugging, things like that. It may use all of those things, so it ha you have to make sure those all get installed before you can actually install the actual KDBG. And this only takes a couple of minutes. It all depends upon the speed of your internet connection. And now we'll do the Baloo widgets installation. So we'll get all that installed. The, what we have to install after that is the Baloo KF5 development libraries. And then after that, there's just one more statement and then we can start the download. I'll show you where to actually download that. In fact, while this is going on, let's open up a browser and let's type in KDBG download. And there it is, the very first thing, a graphical debugger interface. This is an excellent debugger. And I'm going to click on download. And what we want to do is we down, want to download the source code. So I'll go ahead and just download the very first. This is KDBG 3.0.1. This, this is August. Uh, what is the date? Oh, August 6th, 2023. That's the most recent version. So I'll click on that. Go ahead and let that download. It'll put it in my downloads library. So you could also issue a, a single command to do that, but it's much more visual and easy to look at it here. Okay, so now that that downloaded, let's go ahead and do the Baloo KF5 library. And then after that, there's only one thing left we have to do, and that's the get text. Again, these are all libraries that you need to install, and it looks like um, it was already installed, so it says it's its newest version. All right, great. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder. The CD means change directory to downloads, and LS means list the files there. Now, the other thing I could do is I could open up my home folder, go to downloads, and I could just right click on that and say extract here. So that way you don't really have to do much with it, with the command line. And so I'll close that terminal. I'll open up the folder that this tar file, it's like a zip file, 
and I'll go into there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say open in terminal. I'll say CMake space dot and let's see we got do we got an error here um, oh I never installed my C compiler oops I have to make sure I've installed my C compiler so I'm going to say sudo apt install dash y build essential so if you haven't already done this and this was a brand new VMware guest mint Linux I wanted to do this from scratch so got to install the C compiler this will also install the linker. So let's try that CMake again. There we go. So the CMake is preparing the build files for this installation. Then we say make, and the make is actually going through and compiling all of the C programs, all of the C++ programs, if there are any, any assembler code. It's generating the object files, and it's going to link them all together. And then once that's done, we can use the make function or the make command to then install the executable files that this is building. Now this is very, very common in a Linux operating system. And the reason for that is because every Linux is a little bit different. This way you can build it specifically for your Linux installation and just makes it, I think, really nice. So uh, there's no errors there. That looks good. So I'm going to say sudo make install, oops, sudo make install. And what that does is by saying sudo, that means that I'm going to install it for all users. All right, so let's see if it's there. I'll say kdbg. And there we go. We have our kdbg debugger. And once you're done, you can close your terminal. And if you'd like, you can delete everything you downloaded. Or, as I like to do, I'll just delete the folder and keep the tar file for use maybe later on. Maybe I need to reinstall it or, or, or something else like that. Okay, so that's how you install the KDBG debugger on, in this case, Mint Linux. If you're using Ubuntu, I think all you have to do is do the sudo apt install KDBG, but on Mint Linux and other Linux distributions, you have to install it by downloading the source code and then building it. See you in the next video.